can emulate, follow his footsteps in the future. This is our guest speaker for today's closing exercises. To begin with, our guest speaker is a bona fide resident and a son, and a son of young generation of San Agustin Betis. He is the son of Mr. George C. Hinko, the father, and the mother is Mrs. Rebecca S. Hinko. There are five siblings in the family, four boys and one girl. Graduates, our guest speaker is third in the family. He was born on July 11, 1990, and he is about 20, 28 years old now. He finished his elementary, elementary days and graduated at St. Michael Colleges, year 2002. He took his secondary education at G.D. Mendoza High School and graduated salutatorian class of 2006. He pursued his college degree at Mary the Queen College. He finished his course in Bachelor, in bachelor of Science in Information Management from 2006 to 2010 with distinction. He eventually passed the test the test in NC2. His accomplishment composed of the following. Microsoft Office Specialist, Pioneer Event Organizer, Facilitator, Values Alive, and, work, and his work experiences are, he worked with the following companies, Software and Technical Support intern Internship at Merida Queen College, SPS, Land Property Book Encoder at Municipality of Guagua, Sales Clerk, Beginning Inventory in Charge at Lapid's Bake Shops, AF, AFK Computer Electronic Service Business at Lance AFK Angeles City, Service Computer Shop at Net Leon's Computer Shop, Sa Summer Job, Sales Prints Photo Printing, Presently working at Won Chang Company and finish, finishing department at South Korea from the year 2012 to present. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor and the privilege to present to you our guest speaker for tonight's closing exercises, year 2008, Mr. Jason S. Hinko. Let us give him a round of applause. Although he is not with us, let us hear his messages through a video presentation. Once again, let us give him a round of applause, Mr. Jason S. Hinko. May I request the mother and the elder sister of our guest speaker to, to go downstairs. <laughs> Para po ayon tayo masarese ni kaya katamu. Video presentation. Graduates, sabay-sabay natin panoorin ang speech ng ating guest speaker.
introduction, ma'am. I appreciate it, too. My respect to our dearest public schools district supervisor, Ma'am Bernadette Manyo, to our very beautiful and hardworking school principal, Ma'am Emilita G. Manansala, to our beloved faculty members for their undying love and patience to our school children, to the barangay officials headed by our ever-supportive barangay captain, Honorable Aline Jester Lakindanum, to the proud parents, the 20th in graduating class, guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon to all. First of all, my apologies for if I wasn't able to attend your commencement exercise personally. Pauli na po rin kasalukuyan ko pong magobra kay ni Bansang, South Korea, ali po bilang K-pop or metong karangi. Stars na ni K-drama po na eh. Magtas na lang mo pong gamat rin K-pop or kay drama kanken? Alwa ko ako live in home or go in. At lalo ngali ko po metong karang members na rin BTS na po. Joke mo po. Halos kakayari pa po yung winter season kaya ni Korea at marina pa po yung kasalawayang temperatura. Meron ko pong overseas Filipino worker at I work here at yung manufacturing company po. Feeling of greatness and dignity reign in my heart for you have chosen me as your guest speaker for today's significant occasion. The commencement exercises of the school year 2017-2018. Yang inimbitan da ako po na talakad at mamaya mensahe po ngilingal daw ini. Muna pong linog kay isip ko nung deserve ko po ba at bakit po kaya akong may pili. Dakal po ko tangin dinulot kay isip ko at mix emotions. Pero kapag may lata na po nito, sobrang magpasalamat ko po kay once in a lifetime opportunity at experience po ini. May itong pong pribilay yung masasabi yung mamimin sa aking misang kung may ging kaduang tuknaman hindi ka ako pong kayanakan. Before I go further with my speech, may I first congratulate the graduates for today's March the attainment of your dreams. Congratulations dear graduates dahil alapas sa iyo yung anong challenges at apang tagumpay niyo yung may itong apis na rin bayo And that is your elementary, elementary level. Tunay lang maulaga lang learnings, knowledge, and skills na abalo yung yun yung elementary para kaya susunod na level na yung bayo yung anak. Secondly, puri ko na pong i-congratulate ang proud parents of our dear graduates. Ngayon po, i-harvest yun na yung ganaganang sacrifice yung gawa yung para mo at aguyo di pa mag-aral na rin kaya kayo yung anak. Eh kayo po yung mag-serving for runners king edukasyon na rin nga anak yun. Congratulations po. And of course, the next person whom I'd like to congratulate are of course the teachers. Congratulations po for doing such an amazing job this school year. You have successfully done great responsibilities in bringing these children to what they are now. You're a dying love. Guidance and commitment to teach these children have made great changes in their lives. Meron kayo po karing maulagang instrumento or rather maulagang sangkap para po kayo pa magtagumpay na ng K-12 curriculum. The theme for today's commencement exercises is mag-aaral ng K-12 handa sa hamon ng buhay. I would like to ask you this question, my dear graduates. Binago ba ng K-12 ang buhay niyo? Before that, identify tayo pa mo po yung K-12. What is K-12 po? I'm sure na itamuan po, baano tanay nga po yung sasabihan ng K-12 ay ni Nepo. In K-12 program po nga ni Magister siya po kin kindergarten after the 12 years of basic education. Nano na po rin yung 12 already. Bumuna po, 6 years of primary education, elementary level po, ila po rin grades, grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Grades 1 to 6, 4 years of junior high school, ila po rin grades, 7 to 10, and 2 years of senior high school. 
junior high school. Ila po rin grades 11 to 12. So malino po na, in high school na 4 years mo po dati during the old curriculum, namigid-dagan niya po nga 2 years po kaya making 6 years na po ngayon eh. May pit na yan po king kaduang level in high school. Ina po rin nga man ng junior high school and senior high school. Let's admit, at first medyo alanganin ta po kin implementation na ng new educational system ta mo. Ina po. Dakal niya pa gray areas and flaws in a new curriculum na balak ng i-embrace ni bansa ta mo. Dakal negative feedbacks like unpreparedness of the implementing agencies and additional financial burden on the part of the parents. Because of the additional grade levels, ito pong senior high school na sasabihan na namidag na kid K-12. Pero, but our country still needs to embrace it po. Lalo na po, mapilata na mo po kaming Asia na susunod kita po all curriculum. At makalakman na po ang educational system tamo as compared to the other countries. Kung pong downside ng K-12 ba niya, para po ka ako, mas dakal na po yung advantages or benefits na abiyan na karang school children tamo. Like, bumura po, preparedness for tertiary learning with the adaptation of the K-12 skill. Banya po yun eh. Mas expect tamo po na the graduates tamo who are about to enter college, mas matuwa na lang bagya. At consider ta na lang po as young adults. So they will be more equipped to deal with much higher level of learnings as they enter the college education. Secondly po, next po is readiness to join the workforce. Kaya po yun eh. Once na akomplik de po yung senior high school right now, no? Tamo with, with their chosen track. Equip na lang po with skills na kailangan na po para makapag-obra na lang po. Kahit na alida na po yung college education. Though, especially if they have chosen a track other than their academic track. Lastly po, is skill competency in the global job market. K-12 system aims to improve Filipino students. Mathematical, scientific, and linguistic competence under the new curriculum ID. Indermed po promise po na mag-offer yung higher quality education through tracks at bawat track po di na nila po sa pataoras ng DepEd. Di nga na tamo na i-master po yung certain field ay ito para mas may nalas pa po yung skills na. In the end, K-12 graduates will become globally competitive and are set to obtain spot in the stiff of labor market. Indeed, education changes our lives. Talo pa yung anak? Bisan ko rin pong linukulokin at may kiramdam ka rin mami yung mensahe kay speech. Bisan ko rin pong pulapulay kay ba't klase yung mandakap talaga sula-sula ko kaya masanting tapong eskwela ng San Agustin Elementary School. Sariwa pa po, kinalala ko yung masasayang oras ko po kaya ng eskwela tamo. Minsan kaya yung kakla, king klase po, susunod ko pong noisy. Tapos pagaga ako po, toto po. King kinog klase pag ating exam or ating pong uh, biglang test, sigurado po maya at one per sheet of paper kaya yung kaklase po. Ano ka simplyan? Ano ka saya? Ano kanya man balikan ng alaala ko po kaya nito ng mga tanong sa mga? Ragnaging teachers ko po, kanita mga pasupanan, mga bolos, mga sason, mga malig, Sir Santiago, at karing halawa po kaya ko abanggit. Dakala salamat po karin kaya ganagan ng learning sa high part siya po ka na ako. Kanita at hanggang ngayon ay pupulan ko po nga. Tutupin po itang says na teaching rates on other professions. A lot of doctors, nurse, abogado, engineers, even president without the teachers. So salute po to all our, to all our beloved teachers. Kalupa da rin aliwa, di na na scary po kasakitan. Lima kayo pong mga apatan. Pero, 
pagsumuk, pagsumikapan na po rin tayo nga rin minatagawin na kaya kami kong pamagaral niyo po. And instill na po kaya kami to give value to our education. Pauli na po ninyo nga mo pong intangin nga pangarad na kaya kami. Uling pakakalulo kami mo po. Alin na po ba nung ako rin na kaya po kong pang mga scholarships ka dito ng college kaya po. Ako po may garal ko married ako yung college kaya ni po kong sa Pampanga at needs ko pong mag-mentin grades para po mas ipakanaan ang manatili po yung kahong scholarship. Na in-offer na po ng eskwela ka na ako para ditak na po yung bayaran na po rempe nga rin po yung tuition ko. Dintak pa po itang point na agyang ditak na po yung babayaran po yung tuition kapag manyingil na po kaya po ba ano ko rin po sa alikot para sa likutan kaya mo po itang manyingil ka ako. Lumo na lang mo po ang ito. Pag pauli na po kapag meron na po itong manyingil. Alam po pa may matrigal ah. Kanina ah. Totoo po. Suki na nako at aning din sa office kay Professor Renaud. Dahil pong pasalamat ko kay meron ako yung college pang pangga. Karin ko po may aring college pa mag-aral. King Course Bachelor of Science in Information Management. At high school naman po is Guillermo D. Mendoza sa high school kay Nipugwago. Takal pong salamat kay learning at, at masasayang memories ang may glubog po kay pangatawa ko. Pero aligyo ko po pake po sa Riana. Eko sa salibot pagsisingilan na ako yung kaya kong vision na. <laughs> Pero may may dawan po niyang may graduate na po at may gubra. May gubisa na po may gubra. Pangaras naman po kay bakal. Aligyo ko lang po gagastasan mo. Ring bibiya na ring parents ko kaho. Diyan kayo hindi mo po. During break time, singa ka nung pwede na po. Pauli na po rin mag-save ko po talagang pera para pag may ka-project ko po or babayaran kayo ng eskwela. Alina po may niyad ka rin pangyari ko. Luguran nyo lang rin pangyari ko, anak. Ilang gawa nyong inspirasyon para magtagumpi at para datangin aldo at tumbasan nyo yung hanggang sacrifices na gagawad na ngayon ni para kaya kayo. At pinaka-importante is do not forget to pray. Always ask for God's guidance. At yung mga problema wala. And everything you do, always put Him at the center of your life. Truly, education is a big help in attaining goals in life. Sa kahirapan na nararasan natin ngayon, malaking tulong ang edukasyon. Mga minamahal namin mag-aaral na magsisipagtapos ngayon, ito ang inyong pag-asa upang sa susunod na panahon, hindi na tayo makakaranas pa ng kahirapan. Dahil sa karunungan at abilad ng dating ng edukasyon, kayo'y magkakaroon ng mabuting kinabukasan. Always remember that education is dignity. Your assurance to have a progressive life. This is your investment to achieve prosperity. On the other hand, my dear graduates, you should not forget that today is not merely an end, yet a, yet a beginning. As you end up your elementary education, you have been proved with knowledge and wisdom. However, it doesn't end up with that. More changes towards the betterment of your lives are offered by you. If you will continue striving, your knowledge and skills will be acquired by you. Marami pang pagbabago ang darating sa buhay ninyo. Kung inyong ipagpapatuloy ang pagpupursigi sa pag-aaral, ngayon ang umpisa ng mas marami pang pagbabago sa buhay ninyo ang mga minamahal kong mag-aaral. Kaya nga marapat lamang na huwag kayong tumigil sa pagtanggap ng karunungan dahil maraming kaginawaan at mabuting dulot nito sa inyo. After a couple of months, you'll be entering the secondary education. During these times, you will be acquiring more wisdom and you will also encounter new challenges that is why you should make it well. This will be, this will be, this will be your preparation to your tertiary education. To last, as education changes lives, grab this opportunity. Take education with all your heart, mind and spirit. 
The government believes that K-12 curriculum in the Philippines will put Filipino students at par with the rest of the world. Truly, investing in education is the key toward reaching national growth and development in the acquiring the much needed 21st century skills. To the graduates, again, I say congratulations sa mabuhay at kabataan ng K-12. Dakal pong salamat at maya pagkat pa natin po kayo ngayon. May ito po yung kakatamong guest speaker for this year. Allow me to share a little, konting story ng klasik eh. Patutuan na kayo makatouch siya po. Ngayon na kayo pa mabuhin kayong video. Nino kayo na yung 24 years old po? Meron ba 24 years old dito sa mga ano sa mga nanonood? Okay, kasi si Jason at the age of as young as 24 years old. Madakan niya po mapundar. Intuto na po niyan. I-broadcast ko na niya po. Proud ko po na maging kaklasik eh. At the age of 24, ati po na niya po kaya yung first 1 million pesos. Imagine? So, hindi kayo anak, sana ma-inspire kayo kay katamong guest speaker. Sana hindi kayo man. Ne? Ang gyang alimang 24 years old. Ang gyang 22. Ne, ma'am? Pag-graduate da. Ne? Na ano pa yung share ko kaya? Sinabi na, uh, uh, itang magkasakit sa kimbi, at tutupo ito. Uli nga kaklasik eh. Uh, maging close kami rin Jason ang yung makanano uling under ma'am Juliet Mendoza ay pa kanita hindi kami po yung taga-check ng test papers hindi kami po nga doon Jason kaya talaga pong biyasa yun yeah. at the age of 24, 25 may kapagawa na pong sarili ng bale at yun na pong apartment ngayon niya kaya tayo po kapag nyo bandakan to itang hinkos apartment ka rin I, I endorse tayo. <laughs> lawin tayo po niya, lawin niya po. Kaya na kano, pero madakal niya po mapundar. Tutupo. Tutupo yung kayang kahit. Tutupo kayang speech. Patutuanan ko po ito. 100%. Totoong totoo. Eh man po, gawa-gawa mo yung kayang kwento. Next, now let's move on. to Jason S. Hinko in grateful appreciation of his meritorious service and for serving as the guest speaker during the 2018 graduation day with the theme K-12 learners ready to face life's challenges and sharing his experiences and time to graduates to the, gra to the graduates of this school. Given this 5th day of April 2018 at Sinagustin Elementary School, Sinagustin Betis Guagua Pompakna. Signed, Analita G. Manansala, Principal, Principal 3, and Public Schools District Supervisor, Bernadette B. Mayo. Thank you.